Cruise news time. Well, the long arm of the law has finally arrested two cruise ships in the Bahamas. How can you do that? I got the deets. I'm going to tell you that. Plus, I got to tell you the story uh, about the, one of the sweetest couples I've met in a long time. A couple that I met on the Disney Magic just this past week and uh, more. Uh, let me catch you up. It's been a tumultuous day. Cruise news. Let's talk about it. Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back to La Lido Loca. Welcome to this show, this show about cruise news, this show about cruise news commentary. Uh, heads up, it's not just a show about the headlines. And so if you don't like all of this banter, all of this rigmarole, I don't know what to tell you. That's the show. If you want straight news, subscribe to a newspaper. How about that? No, I'm just kidding, man. I came off of a very tumultuous uh, day at the airport. I was It was reaffirmed to me today why you do not travel in the day of your cruise. Because if you were traveling into Miami today, the day of your cruise, you may not have made your cruise. There is trouble everywhere. Flights from the north being disrupted uh, by the White Walkers. No, by flights from the north being disrupted because of the bad weather. This is what happened to me. I got off the Disney cruise ship at 7.30. I took an Uber to the airport. I was at the airport airport at 8 15 i was through security and at my gate gate d50 uh and i was there by like 9 15 now what was unsettling about being at gate d50 is there was about 200 people trying to get on an international flight to a foreign land i guess that's what that means when i say international and their flight was delayed so after waiting at gate d50 for an hour i got notification that i had to go to gate d43 I did a lot of walking in the Miami airport today. I went to gate D43 and my flight got delayed again. It got delayed a whole hour because the pilots and the flight attendants couldn't get to the plane because they were stranded coming from the north. Eventually, the pilots and the flight attendants got to the plane. We got everybody on board and we were getting ready to leave and they didn't have anybody to push the plane away from the airport. I guess the ground crews were busy at other terminals and we were just sitting there for a half an hour while we were waiting for the people to pull the plane or push the plane or whatever you do the plane to get it away from the airport. And we waited there so long that somebody went into a medical distress emergency situation. Uh, they made a big hubbub bub. They wanted to get off the plane because they were having medical distress. Uh, they got approval to bring the jetway back, to bring the, uh, the gate agent back, to get this person in medical distress off the plane. And then what happened is as they were getting ready to get the person off the plane, they got word that they were able to push back from the airport and that news seemed to heal. That news seemed to heal the person with the medical distress. So all of a sudden when they heard that they could push back, no more distress. It's not a big deal. Again, all I was doing was coming home. I coordinated with the lovely Jenny B. We met at exactly the right time. Uh, I'm glad because, you know, like the luggage even took a half an hour, but... And they didn't put, they made my coffee wrong. But other than that, uh, there could be worse things happening. I, five days. I did five days on a Disney cruise at your behest. At your, I had a blast on the Disney cruise. I had a really good time hanging out with fellow creators, pair of DJ. But let me just say this. I think five days is enough. Five days was enough for me on the Disney cruise. I cannot wait to tell you about my experience, the highs, the lows, my final thoughts, who this cruise is for, who this cruise is not for. Uh, all that is coming up. Uh, but the, one of the best stories coming off the Disney cruise was this couple. I just got to share this couple with you. Uh, here's the video of the USO show on the Marvel Day at Sea. Uh, this arrow represents one of the dancers in that show, and this arrow represents the parents of the dancers on the show. I met this couple on the first day. They were excited. They love cruising on Disney, but they loved this cruise even more because they were cruising and they were getting to spend time with their daughter. And I, they were the proudest parents. I saw them at many shows, recording the shows, just beaming, uh, watching their kid do their thing in such a professional environment. And the, the daughter was amazing. And uh, yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of Disney magic for you. Uh, now I got to tell you, about the crystal ships getting arrested in the Bahamas. But first, let me quickly invite you to subscribe. If you like staying up to date with everything that's going on in cruising, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. That way you don't miss out on any of these episodes. And look, that's the kind of show it is. We need your support to keep it going forward. Subscribe. That way you get notified. And uh, your action of subscribing tells YouTube that we're A-OK. -okay. How about that? 
Uh, thank you in advance. All right. Crystal Serenity and the Crystal Symphony are wanted by the law. They're wanted because they cannot pay their fuel bill. Crystal Cruises cannot pay their fuel bill because Crystal Cruises' parent company, Genting, has done run out of money. And it's been a crazy week or so, 10 days for these two Crystal Cruise ships, trying to get passengers off the cruise ships, trying to get passengers home, trying to get provisions. They got crew members that are trying to get home, crew members that have been paid up to a point, but they haven't been paid. And all all the while they've been avoiding southern florida because there was a judge in florida that put an arrest warrant out on these two cruise ships and so as soon as they landed in the u.s if they did uh the ships would be arrested now when we say arrested uh it's going to be seized there let me i looked it up hold on uh because there's been some question like how do you arrest a cruise ship so when they say arrest a ship this is what they mean arrest is the physical process by which in case of the united states a u.s market Marshal goes aboard the vessel and physically takes charge of it. The notice of arrest must be posted on the vessel, a copy given to the master or the person in charge, as well as the owner. So seizing, seizing might be a better word. I know some people got hung up on the word arrest. What is that? How do you arrest an inanimate object? You seize it. Uh, you take it over. And uh, apparently, even though these ships were down in the Bahamas, uh, the Bahamas allowed the U.S. Marshals to arrest these two cruise ships. So uh, th there's got to be a process to get the skeleton crew off of these ships. But right now, these ships are under U.S. Marshal control. From what I understand, there was a report on Cruise Industry News. There's been some uh, talk coming from the captain that have been reported out to several different uh, news outlets. And so uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I'm really, at the end of the day, I feel like somebody's going to sweep in and buy Crystal Cruises. It's like a high-end luxury line that people love, that people are very loyal to, that people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on. And so there is a viable business there. Just what stinks is the owner of that viable business ran out of money to operate the business. They use their money for other things instead of keeping Crystal afloat, as it were. So hopefully somebody comes and buys Crystal. But um, what a saga. Uh, somebody should make a movie about it. The arrested cruise ships. Look, there's a lot more cruise news to cover. There's a lot more Disney to cover. But I just got home, and I, I just wanted to pop in on a Saturday, see how you guys are doing, see what's up, uh, see how you're feeling. And, uh, yeah, I uh, hope you're having a good weekend. I'm home. I'm ready for a nap. I'm ready to watch some TV with the lovely Jenny B after being gone. And, uh, look, we embark next, uh, whatever, seven days from now, on the Sky Princess, and we booked a cruise while I was gone. We're doing a side-by-side. -side. Never done a side-by-side. -side. So when we get off the Sky Princess, uh, the next cruise ship that we're going to get in is... Okay, I won't tell you. I, I will wait till the Tuesday night show for uh, another uh, cruise announcement. The next cruise will be... Any guesses? Uh, let's see. We are... We're going out of Fort Lauderdale, so that should help you. We, we will... The, the mystery cruise is on the 19th out of Fort Lauderdale. See if you can pick it. Leave a comment below. <sighs> I got bean burritos waiting in there. Taco Bell. Do you guys like Taco Bell? Thank you so much for checking out the show today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can show your support by hitting the like button. And if you do not, if you do not hit the like button, then your luggage will never come out on that carousel. Carousel 5, the same three bags kept coming out over and over until our bags finally get... This is Tony with a lot of Look, until the next time, we'll see you on the Lido.